are aware that elections took place in the Gambia on the 1st of December. And on the 2nd of December, the results were declared. And President Elec Barrow was declared the winner of the elections. The IEC, under Section 43 of the Constitution, has the mandate to announce the results of elections. Under Section 63 of the Constitution, the person declared elected should take oath and assume office on the day of expiration of the term of the incumbent. This is the reading of the coalition. You know, and they are in a better position to explain to you that the loser in the election decided after accepting to reject and proceed to the courts. The day of expiration of the term, according to the Constitution, is clearly spelled out. Who should assume office after the expiration of that term? That is the issue to be resolved. And we have uh, ECOWAS coming to mediate. They are in the process. It is not conclusive. We believe that their effort will continue since they have been able to meet uh, both sides. We anticipate, as we have always said, that as Gambians, our destiny is in our own hands. No president could claim to be credible who will rule a country of dead bodies and destroyed properties. As far as the coalition is concerned, it has, from the very inception, told every Gambian that it is a coalition to be able to effect change of government so that Gambia will have a new start. We have an independent candidate elected as president so that no party will take ownership of power, no ethno-linguistic group will take ownership of power, no religion, but the sovereign Gambian people will begin to know that they have the authority to change their manner of government, authority to check, scrutinize, and restrain any government in power, and the capacity to move that government when they so desire. So in that sense then, we are still in the process of negotiation as we move towards the 19th. And I would uh, stop here for any question that you may have. Yeah, Mr. Sir, yes. Yes. Excuse me, how far is the negotiation as of now? Yes, that's what I've just announced, that ECOWAS is still in the process. They have met both sides. They have listed, because negotiation is looking at the divergent positions, and you try to narrow it down. We are waiting for more efforts to be able to narrow down the differences. What are, what are, what are, what are those divergent? Now, the difference is still wide. Well, what I think all of you had known, we don't have to ask ECOWAS what those differences are. We, the Gambian people, we know what the differences are. So what we are telling you is their effort to be able to narrow down those differences. And we are also struggling to see where the Gambians themselves will also try to narrow down those differences. Mr. Salah, you talked about, you talked about divergence how does, of... How does the new induction file before the Supreme Court affect the inauguration, sir? Well, as you've said, something is filed. When something is filed and nothing is conclusive, there is no restraint to the inauguration. That's what it means. Injunction is to give an order. Is there anything that could stop the inauguration of President-elect Adam Abaro on Thursday the 19th? What we have said is that the Constitution says 
that there should be no vacancy in the office of president based on the end of a term. The constitution is very clear uh, that the person elected president, declared to be elected, should assume office. So essentially that is the reading and that is what is being continued. And as you've heard, some people have gone to court to have an injunction given. But you know that that process has not taken place. So if it takes place and there is conclusion there, then we will hold a press conference and then you can ask us, how do you see uh, the conclusion? Mr. Sala, uh, you talked about divergence of um, um, positions. What, can you summarize for us, what are the key there points discussed or the conditions put on the table? That's what I'm saying, that we do not know what ECOWAS would discuss with each side. They are mediators and they will not go and tell you because they are not laying conditions on people. It is our position, and this is the position we have said, that the position of the coalition is that we decided to participate in elections because we are the Gambian people. And we have a right to be elected or to elect. So we participated in the elections, knowing exactly what we are entitled to. What the president-elect is entitled to is after the results, to head towards being sworn in as president. But you talked about, you, you said that the talks will continue, but what are the chances? Because we have just a few days away from the inauguration. We cannot speculate on talks, because talks means speaking to both sides and narrowing differences. So that is, that is uh, something that we cannot predict. We can simply say, let them continue the initiative, what because the Gambian people... What are your expectations then? Well, the expectation is that the Gambian people and the international community will not sit and wait and preside over a country that is destroyed by war, destroyed in terms of property, destroyed by human beings, and human beings suffering. How will they avoid that? That's well, that's why there is talk. When there is negotiation. Talk? Is there a chance of that happening? And we have, n well, this is what I'm saying. Do you want us to speculate? No. We cannot speculate. We are saying concrete things have been done. ECOWAS is here. Now, what form will the... And will the Echo, well, ECOWAS is here. And ECOWAS has done part of its work. And they are going. So we are simply saying that the negotiation must continue. Excuse me, sir. When do you suppose the... Uh, uh, up to the 19th. When do you suppose the, the talks with the ECOWAS will end? Well, obviously, we are saying the 19th is the end of the term of the incumbent. So, so talks if continue till 19th? Well, to the 19th, obviously. What form will it take? Yes, what you are saying today's talk is not enough to, to solve the crisis. Well, that's precisely what I have said, that uh, the crisis has not been solved by today's talks. We, 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 we are aware that um, contacts have been made between the, co team, the, co the coalition and the um, outgoing president through his mediator general. Could you say with us? Well, we are simply saying that the mediator general is not mediator in its uh, uh, proper context. It's not mediating between, impartially between people. Uh, you know that when uh, the outgoing president congratulated the incoming president and accepted the results, there was opening of communication and there was liaison on both sides to facilitate a smooth transfer of power. But when he declared that he rejected the results, of course the communication uh, was cut. And therefore there was gap. And the liaison is simply out to restore that communication link. And that is a healthy development that so now on his side... has been established between the coalition and the, the outgoing government? Well, the liaison now, whom we can, who is now called a mediator general, has uh, reached out and discussion did take place. Uh, and uh, the discussion is restricted to presenting the view of the other side and taking the view of the coalition. So these are the things that you will look at and hopefully all sides uh, will be sincere enough to look at the situation and come to an agreement on something that will serve the national interest. If the that crisis is the, remain unsolved, if will it stop um, the uh, inauguration of the... Uh, well, I don't know why you keep on saying if the crisis is uh, remain unstopped. What we are saying is that you've heard that 
uh, somebody has gone to court. So which means that certain constitutional processes are taking place and we are acting on the basis of the constitutional processes. The other side is also acting on the basis of constitutional processes and we should insist that all Gambians act on the basis of those constitutional processes. Is, is and if we do, then we will avert the crisis. This is the second time the ECOWAS delegation are coming to the Gambia. And based on what you've said, they've not reached anything conclusive. How, where, how do you hope that they're going to reach something conclusive within the five, five days remaining? Well, I believe you've seen the process the annulling of elections and eventually the reneging from that position to say, well, we must go to the courts. You've, you've seen that. Uh, in a similar vein, uh, the coalition said, well, we will go on with what the constitution says, that the declared person should assume office, and you've now seen uh, somebody going to the courts for an injunction. So what we should see is that processes are taking place, and that's what a country should always do to understand your right and pursue it. And through that, we'll see what the ultimate consequences will be. But we will say that the coalition will never be found wanting in preserving the integrity of the Gambian people, the integrity of the elections, the sovereignty of the people, and to preserve the lives and property of the Gambian people. Now, since that the is our foremost concern. Now, since the crisis is not stopped and negotiation continues, is ECOWAS supposed to come back here again? Well, ECOWAS is a mediator. So they will continue to do whatever they believe is necessary to be able to address this crisis. Good. Sir, all of you. Last question. Last question. I want to believe that you understand uh, that uh, right now Gambians are, uh, if I can say, displaced in our own country. So, what will be your message to the Gambian populace right now at this present time when we have looking at five days to, towards January 19th? Well, I don't uh, know how Gambians will allow themselves to be displaced in their country. They're the owners of the country. And their voices should continue to be heard. They are the determinant, the architect of their own destiny. What is important at this stage is for Gambians to refuse to be divided. We must be a nation of one people. And that is only possible if we agree to be governed by rules. And the fundamental rule is to accept that through elections, we will choose our leaders. So once that happens, everyone should respect the verdict of those elections. We will tell all Gambians that irrespective of ethnolinguist origin, irrespective of religion, irrespective of political divide, we are Gambians, and the only thing that can keep us together is we go to the polls and select our leaders, and whoever is selected, everyone will acknowledge and, and respect that burden. That is the road to peace. Can you take one more question, please? Well,